Professor Shutumeta is the first female chair of the Department of Epidemiology at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Um, if you're not aware, the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School, especially the Department of Epi, is the oldest department and consistently has been ranked as the best Department of Epidemiology for a very long time. It's, it's been a while trying to get to get here on the podcast, uh, so we are really honored to, to have to have her join us today. Um, uh, so as, as, as a new chair, um, what, what is your vision for the department in the next, say, five to 10 years? Um, yeah, I, I mean, my vision is really about a simple goal. Um, it's about improving lives and reducing inequities here at home in Baltimore, across the US and globally uh, through epidemiologic investigation, intervention, innovation, and training, you know. What are, like, what would you say are the typical numbers like in the department, um, especially EP department? It's incredibly competitive. I mean, we get hundreds of applicants. You know, we get sometimes three, four hundred applicants. And our PhD classes are on average about 12 to 14 students a year. So we get many more qualified applicants than we can admit. So it's again this this the importance of not being discouraged if it doesn't work out the first time around. How important uh, do you think all the emails sign up in the PhD application process? What are some of the common mistakes that you think students make uh, when they are writing cold emails? What element of a statement uh, have you read that really stood out that this is really a compelling statement of purpose? Yeah, um, and I, you know, how common is it to get a PhD straight from bachelor's? Uh, uh, degree at Hopkins? I think it's increasingly less common. Uh, you know, I will say, I think just, you know, we've already talked about how competitive it is these days and how few slots there are um, for for each area department. Um, and so I think it is less common. And the, the general expectation is that students come in with a master. So in, I think in, in the PhD application process, how important are publications? Mm. Uh, what are, like, what are some of the things that maybe programs are looking for once they enlist you for interview. Yeah, I think here it's the, you know, the opportunity to...